What up, Deuce Gang? I'm my guy. You already know this guy over here. Together, we are two guys doing a podcast podcast. We bring you the latest, the greatest, and sometimes a little bit disgusting news. You know, the latest of the day. I just want to know, man, before we get into this, if y'all like the content, please drop a like right now. Just do it right now before we get into this content, man. And also subscribe to us because we're going to bring you this every day. But I got a question for you. I got a question for this guy. Can I ask you a question? No, but yes. What's going on today? Nicki Minaj and Pierce Morgan were trading shots after rappers controversial vaccine comments. Now, the UK's chief medical officer, Chris Whitty, also said at a news conference that Nicki, quote, should be ashamed, end quote, adding that there are a number of, quote, myths that fly around. Some are uh, some of which are just clearly ridiculous and some of which are clearly designed to scare. That happens to be one of them. So this is. The UK chief medical officer addressing Nicki Minaj. Why would this person address Nicki Minaj? Because it's a global pandemic and Nicki Minaj has the barbs, which is millions upon millions of impressionable people pretty much does whatever she says. So if Nicki has some discouraging things to say about the vaccine and she has no medical science background at all, these people might be inclined to take what she has to say as Bible. So anyways, Nikki decides to respond. She she, she, she sends out a tweet and uh, let's check it out. Yes. Hello, Prime Minister Boris. It's Nikki Minaj. Um, I was just uh, calling to tell you that I thought you were so amazing on the news this morning. And I'm actually British. Um, I was born there. I, I went to university there. I went to Oxford. Um, I went to school with Margaret Thatcher. And she told me so many nice things about you. I'd love to send you my portfolio of my work, since you don't know much about me. I'm a big, big star in, in, in the United States. <laughs> You are fucking awesome. So anyways, queen, don't 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 disrespect the queen. Okay? So Pierce jumps in uh, and he responds to Nikki Pierce Morgan. He says, Professor Witty beefing with the ghastliest Nikki Minaj, one of the rudest little madams I've ever met, is not the breaking news that I expected today, but it's most welcome. She's peddling lies that will cost lives. So at that point, Nikki responds, sir, I've never met you. I know we all look alike. Insert racism right. rudest little madame i like it. it has a special ring to it thanks pierce love the accent i'd love to come chat scones tea clown nose and a big red shoes for you then we get a response from pierce morgan madame we met at agt america's got talent when you appeared as a guest act but you refused to say hello to my three young sons because you were quote too busy oh and it's pierce i know we brit names all sound alike Nikki responds, <laughs> stop fucking lying. I never turn down pics with kids. If a middle person told you that, they were out of line. Don't blame me, you stupid piece of shit. And then it turns out she started adding the wrong person, and we give two shits about that. But right. I, 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 by the way, uh, Pierce stopped responding after she flipped her wig. So as he should, this is classic bait. Like if you know someone's buttons, this is a great thing about social media. If you know someone's buttons, push the buttons, watch them implode, and just walk away and watch it like the rest of us from a distance. Because she so who's, kept... whose buttons whose buttons getting pushed here? Nikki's. Nicki Minaj's buttons is getting definitely pushed. Nicki Minaj has a stigma about her, which is I'm bigger than life. You 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 know where she basically uh, one of her assistants gave her like a, a gift. I can't remember if it was a baby shower or some shit like that. And mm -hmm. she shit all over the gift publicly. Who does that? Like, so she's notoriously known as I guess the word would be diva, but in like a really, really bad way. So the button that was pushed is when Pierce says, Oh. You're too busy. You couldn't even take pictures with kids. That's when she lost it. Because again, it plays on the diva too big for life. You don't even right. have time to take. That's when she lost her shit. Now, I mean, I've harped repeatedly 
about COVID-19 and messaging and look at the source where it's coming from. Like, I don't know how much more I could do this. Like, I, I, I really don't. I understand why the UK chief's medical doctor feels the need to respond to Nicki Minaj. I said it in the opening. I get it. But if you don't get it by now, I don't know what more to tell you. Everybody has responded to Nicki Minaj. Like, what Nicki Minaj said was the worst thing that has ever been said. This is where I stand on this. So Dr. Fauci also responded to her. Uh, Pierce Morgan has responded. The prime minister of the UK has responded. And you said the chief medical officer over there has responded as well. Where were all these people when Joe Rogan came out talking about he was taking ivermectin? Where were they? How come nobody cared when, when, when Joe Rogan came out and said that he was at home with his with his witch pot creating a medley of 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 chemicals and medicines and herbals to cure his thing and that this is what you should do instead of taking the vaccine nobody i didn't hear none of these voices nikki minaj comes out and she says that she her she is weary about getting the vaccine because she has a cousin who got the vaccine and then his Balls got swollen and he became impotent after. Whether the two things are connected, who knows? Obviously, it's dangerous putting it out there because then that's exactly what you're indirectly doing. You're connecting the two things. You know, that's the danger in it. But she's not trying to give anybody medical advice. As a matter of fact, anybody who pays attention to the story will know that she ended up saying that she's probably going to have to get vaccinated anyways to go on tour. So I want to know why everybody wants to stick to the negative side or create something that you think that she was suggesting when all she was doing was telling a real life story like we all have. Anybody who is weary about getting the vaccine has a reason as to why they're weary or they would have got it already. Whether the reason makes sense to you or it doesn't, it's a reason and it's why they're not doing it. And I don't see why this was a big deal. I understand that Nicki Minaj has a reputation for being a diva, for being a certain type of way. And I get that. And if I see that, I'm going to call it out like I do with every other female that we talk about that does something stupid on this podcast. Right? But I don't see it here. I don't see it here. I see it being created. And like I said, Joe Rogan, crickets. Nicki Minaj, politicians, prime ministers, news anchors, and more to come. What are we doing? Um, of course, we know that when Joe Rogan first came out initially telling, you know, young and healthy people who are not being stupid and eating right and exercising, of course, we know everybody came out and addressed that. As far as Joe Rogan's, uh, I guess, a uh, cocktail, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> that, that he said he threw everything at it. Um, uh, I personally did hear somebody speak to that. Obviously, it wasn't the world that came out like Nikki, right? Uh, I mean, Nikki, I did hear somebody on MSNBC speak to that and was again saying, Look, even the manufacturer of the drug ivermectin is saying, Do not take this. So, there has been some people speak out to it. Um, no, definitely not. Um, to the extent that uh, the response that Nicki Minaj is getting. Okay, so who who's they? Because this is this is this is the question. Whose platform do you think is is bigger? Probably Joe Rogan, um, and I would have to say Joe Rogan is bigger, only because of the type of people that his audience, his audience. Well, Joe Rogan's uh, he's 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 conspiracy theory guy, and. Um, <laughs> Not all of his audience, but a large portion of his audience, uh, you know, they have similar beliefs. They so, believe, yeah. So if you have an audience already susceptible to that type of thinking, well, all you got to do is just drop one little drip of blood in the water and everybody goes nuts. But also at the same time, Nicki Minaj is speaking for a lot of urban people, people that look like me and you. And we already know how we feel about the vaccine. So it could almost be a similar thing. The point is, and the simple point is, and I always have to catch myself. I don't think anybody should be forced to take a vaccine. I think that for this particular vaccine, it requires time. And if you, I feel like you deserve as much time as you need to make the decision. I feel like you should be able to ask as many questions as you want to ask in order to 
for you to help gain the knowledge you need to make that decision. And as long as my side or people who are pro-vaccine are answering those questions, not being disrespectful. I know I could be disrespectful sometime, and that's why I'm trying to fix that. Not being disrespectful. If we can do all these things, great. Hopefully, eventually you'll get vaccinated. But people who are anti-vax, vaccine or anti-mask, whatever, say whatever you want. You have freedom of speech. I just wish that you would start all of your tirades, even if it's from personal experience, people you know that have had this experience with the vaccine. I just wish you would say, I am not a medical doctor. I'm not a scientist. I have no experience in this field. This is my own personal opinion. If you are having doubts and second thoughts, I encourage you to do your own research and speak with the physician. You don't have to say that word for word, word for word, but just give a fucking disclaimer. You know what I mean? Because when you're an influential person, people are going to listen to what you say, especially, like I said, if the ground is already fertile, you it's easy for that seed of doubt to be planted and then blossom. And then all of a sudden, well, look at the world. You know what you got. I mean, on. especially in this, saying? especially in this day of age of social media, especially on Twitter, where you can only send like one message at a time. So if somebody really wants to put out some misinformation about you, even if you continued your message after that first tweet, I don't care. It's what you said in this one tweet that we care about. And we've seen it with plenty of celebrities at this point where somebody will find one certain tweet and just and just go off of that. And that can literally destroy somebody's career. So, of course, they got to pay more attention to what they're saying. But when we get to a point where and that sucks, that's the shitty part, I guess, of being a celebrity to the point where you just can't even tell a story of something that happened to you. Just just a story. That's it. You know, I'm. it's not the first person to tell a story. That's why it's so crazy to me. You know what I mean? I've heard stories, too, of like whether I believe them or not. Who cares? It's that person's reason. So oh, to the anti-vaxxers, whether you're a vaxxer or you're an anti-vaxxer, you know, I don't this divide that we have right now is is unnecessary. Um, whether you're for whether you're against, that's fine. Stay on your side and allow the other people to to take time. Some people just want to take time. Some people don't want to do it at all. But you guys people who are shaming one way or another, you are helping to force a decision and you wouldn't like it if somebody forced a decision on you or would you? Because technically you're probably getting the shot just so you can go back to a normal life because the government forced us into a, into a different one. Just pay attention to all perspectives. That's all I'm saying. Viewing public. What are your thoughts here? Nicki Minaj with the accent. Gotta love it. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah. By the way, side note, one of her uh, aliases, her alter egos, as she put it, is Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski. If you oh, guys, yeah. If you guys don't know who that is, don't say anything. Give these guys a little bit of homework. If you guys don't know who that is, Google Roman Polanski. And that is Nicki Minaj's alter ego. Again, check the source. Leave it she's, in the a mon she's a mother monster. Clearly. Deuces. Okay. Yo, thanks for watching that video, making it all the way to the end. You made it this far. You have to like Please subscribe and comment on the video as well. Join the conversation. Absolutely. We finally hit our goal of 500 subscribers. Yes, yes we sir. are trying to get to 1,000. And Whee! we can only do that with your help. You can start by watching that next video. You see that tiny little icon? Click on that icon. Rinse and repeat. Deuces. Deuces.